In this video, we are going to do a walkthrough of DeviceHub.net Internet of Things application platform, working together with the Freescale K64 Freedom Board. DeviceHub.net is an Internet of Things application platform that allows developers and businesses to create any kind of Internet of Things uh, products and services. It allows to connect any kind of uh, hardware to the cloud, be able to do get data gathering from that device uh, and also be able to remotely control the device from the cloud platform and also uh, through uh, REST APIs be able to control that device from the mobile phone or from a third-party web application. For this demo we are using a Freescale K64F Freedom Board which is part of the Freescale Kinetis um, series of um, high performance, low power uh, development boards. Uh, this board in particular is very good for rapid prototyping as it uh, already has included on the board a um, RGB LED, um, two user push buttons, uh, a micro SD card slot, it also has a 6 uh, axis accelerometer, a magnetometer, and of course it's got an uh, Ethernet board. Um, it also supports uh, wireless connectivity via add-on modules that can be found at uh, Freescale or to, to distributors. For the purpose of this demo, I have created a new user account in order to be closer to what you will see if you haven't used uh, DeviceHub.net before. Once logged in, we will uh, go ahead and create a new project. We'll call it Freescale. Here we can see the newly created uh, project ID 5998. This will we will use later, and also the platform created the uh, new API key for us that we'll also use later in order to establish connection from, uh, from our board to the platform. As uh, DeviceHub.net tells us, we have no devices, so we'll go ahead and create a new device. We'll give it the name of Freedom K64. Now, as you can see here, we have the possibility to add sensors and actuators to this device. First, on the sensor side, we want to monitor accelerometer and magnetometer data in our project and also monitor the states of the two user buttons on the board. So we'll create two digital sensors for each of the user buttons. Now we'll go back to the device, add a new sensor, digital, so now we have the two user buttons that are set up, as we can see here that we have no data for them yet. Now <clears throat> we'll also add a uh, analog sensor for each of the accelerometer and magnetometer axis. So we'll basically add six analog sensors. I'll just copy this. And I'll do the same for the magnetometer. Oh. 
Okay, now we have created the basic sensors that we want to store and uh, display in our project. In terms of actuators, we want to be able to control the RGB LED that's available on the board. Uh, we have also connected two relays on the board on two digital outputs and we've also connected another uh, LED on a PWM port that's available on the board. So for the RGB LED I'm going to create three digital actuators one for each channel of the LED and if we go back to the device we're going to see the actuator here we can actually toggle this actuator from here now it's not doing anything but it's going to do something once we also upload our code on the board so I'm gonna go ahead and create all the other actuators this is going to be the green channel the blue channel and the two relays and our analog actuator controlling the PWM LED I'm just going to call it LED and this is how our project dashboard looks at this point so we have our project called Freescale which contains this device the Freedom K64 board and this is how our uh, dashboard looks without being connected to, to the device yet in order to program the Freescale Freedom board we are using the embed online uh, development environment and here we have prepared already a uh, program that will interface with Device Hub. What we need to do is fill in the API key, the project ID and the device UUID that we can find in the um, uh, Device Hub project. So we'll go there and click on development information here we have the project ID of course these are already filled in by us the device UUID which is the unique identifier of the device and the API key that was created automatically when we created the project This code is uh, available on the devicehub.net website on the tutorial section and it already, uh, it's already a starting point for sending the accelerometer and magnetometer data to Device Hub. Also the two button uh, states and also being able to control via Device Hub to control the two relays that are attached to the board and the PWM LED. So now we're going to compile the code and uh, embed will automatically download the resulting binary to, to my computer. We're going to use it to program the embed. As you can see the new binary is now uh, written onto the freedom board you can see the flash led blinking and it's done so now we have our board connected to devicehub.net um, internet of things platform and we are going to play a little bit with the actuators that are uh, communicating in real time with the board so first we're going to um, turn on uh, each of the um, channels of the RGB LED so let's see with the red now we have green and blue and we can play with them a little bit more green off blue off, green on, red off and we only have the 
green and blue. And I think you've got the idea. And also we're going to switch on the relays one by one. We have some status LEDs on the relay board, so you can see them here. I have both relays turned on, off, one by one. Okay, and the PWM LED. Let's see if we can zoom a little bit on it. Now it's almost 75%. 100% back to 25, 50, 0. So, as you would expect, the real time control of actuators works pretty neat. Now, if we look at the website and we push, for instance, if we push the left button, we're going to see the LED button. Turn one, and now zero, back again. Also with the right button, and back to zero again. You also see the accelerometer data, so if we turn this board on a side, or if we move it, we should see some changes in the magnetometer and accelerometer data. So, as you can see, everything works uh, perfectly fine.